brand new quest, brand new exotic. Today we're going to feature the brand new exotic Wicked Implement. We're going to go over what it does, what does it feel like, is it any good? And I've got like a few tips to show you about this as well, how it could deal with champions. But first we'll just go over the Wicked Implement itself. It's got the perk on there, Creeping Attrition. Rapidly landing position hits causes targets to become slurred. This is going to fit nicely into stasis builds primarily, but it's going to be good for all. So getting slurred, slurring targets on position hits is really, really nice. And it also has the perk on there, Tithing Harvest. Precision found the blurs while creeping attrition is active. Create a stasis shard that returns to you. When it returns to you, this collecting this stasis shard is going to refill the magazine. So what I wanted to do as well as review the weapon, I just want to show you a little fragment where you can get some really nice damage out of this stasis uh, primary ammo weapon. Whisper of Rending, primary ammo weapons do increase damage to stasis crystals and frozen targets. And because this scout rifle freezes, we're going to be able to get a 42% damage increase against frozen targets like so. So I'm just going to show you the numbers in this clip now. If you keep an eye on the first shot, 4494. And then what I'm going to do is just slow this target with the creeper attrition. And then you're going to see the damage number go up to 4494 while it's frozen. And you can just keep doing this little loop and it just will give you an extra 42% damage increase. So really, really good little fragment to run. And then on top of that, we can even get even more damage out of this with a, a exotic helmet on the Stasis Hunter called Mask of Bacchus. As you saw in that clip then, it went up to 8,000 and odd. So basically, we're going to use Whisper of Rending and Mask of Bacchus. Bacchus replaces your subclass dodge ability with a longer range, faster moving arc shift, that partially cloaks you, and it also gives you a 25% instant damage on arc and stasis weapons. So getting a flat 25% damage buff just by dodging, plus the Whisper of Rending, is really, really strong. 4494. Up to 6404 with the rending, and then what you're going to see, I'm going to do my little light shift dodge with back wrist, and it's going to go up even more, up to almost 8100. Really, really good damage numbers 4494 all the way up to 8005. That is a 78% damage increase, which is absolutely crazy. Now, the best thing for me personally I found with this scout rifle in this clip I have got overload scout rifle on as you can see I got that overload shot so obviously that's going to feel solid but you don't actually have to have overload scout rifle on for the seasonal perk because stasis sl slow effects do actually cause overload capabilities so you're going to see in this clip I do not have my stasis uh, sorry my uh, overload scout artifact it's not popping up but you'll see I'm still able to slur targets uh, like so and apply overload to overload champions. So you're going to see just a couple of shots. So it's basically, it's got intrinsic overload in there. If we think about it, just by slowing an overload champion, it's going to uh, do sort of do the overload capabilities. And on top of that, it can actually stop anti-barriers. As we all know by now, Stasis can actually stop anti-barriers putting their uh, anti-barrier shield up. So it's technically got two although the anti-barrier one isn't as consistent as the slowing overload effect so that's just like two ticked off and on top of that stasis is absolutely crazy for champions anyway it's got loads of different sort of capabilities in there as well which i've gone over plenty in my videos but just to finish off it does actually cause unstoppable uh, capabilities as well because of stasis shatter effects now this one, uh, it isn't actually the slow effect that causes the unstoppable, it is the shatter effect. So once you slow it and then shoot it, that's going to break the sort of slowing effect, break the crystal that it's got in there, uh, the little sort of ice. And that's what causes the uh, unstoppable to become unstopped. So it's got all three, overload, a bit of anti-barrier and unstoppable. So this scout is absolutely STF at end game in my opinion. Now, one more nifty little trick is with regards to the perk Tithing Harvest. Whenever you create a stasis shard, it refills the magazine. But on top of that, because it's creating the stasis shard, we may as well run Whisper of Rhyme. Collecting a stasis shard grants a small amount of overshield. So these little shards that I create from this weapon, it's going to refill your magazine and it's going to heal you. So I just found that, like a really nice little link between the gun and the stasis subclass. 
you'll see in that clip there it just gives me a nice overshield and on top of that you can actually also run elemental charge on your legs by picking up a stasis shard it does give you a chance for you to get an armor charge so i just wanted to throw them two little clips in there covered for overload and unstoppable and it can actually stop anti-barriers putting the shields up as well so it's an end game scout i don't think it'll feel good if you run this in strikes and things like that but if you get to lost sectors gms things like that i think this scout could really really shine thanks for watching i hope you have a great day